Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 7th, 2017. And I just received notification in my email, finally, from YouTube, that two videos that they deleted from my channel and that were actually banned from YouTube have now been released back to my channel. And I know a lot of you have not seen these videos because they deal with Sechi footage where the brown dwarf star was captured and I did a comparison on photographs that were captured by one of my subscribers using a high-powered telescope, observatory-style telescope. And these images were sent to me, and I did a comparison on some Sechi footage that NASA was claiming was a flaw or a glitch in their camera systems on the Sechi craft in space. After doing this comparison of my photographs that I received from my subscriber compared to what was seen on the Sechi footage in mid-November and then again at the end of November, I put this video together and then I followed it up with another video. Soon after, both videos were taken down, false copyright strikes were issued against them but I fought very hardly to get them back from YouTube. And here they are, both together, in their entirety. Sit back and watch this. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is December 1st, 2016, and we have some incredible NASA Sechi footage for you. And this is going to clearly show you a very large planetary body near the sun. We filed this report. So I decided to go back through some of this Sechi imagery of the sun. And as you can clearly see, we are on the Sechi A, H1, and this is dated for November 17th, 2016. But what I'm about to show you is just another piece of the puzzle of what we're looking at. Now, this has been said to be a glitch in the camera systems of these spacecraft that monitor the sun. And there are several of them. And what you're looking at right now is said to be a glitch in the camera system. Well, the camera system does not point at the sun on this craft. What you're seeing right here, what I'm circling, is the planet Earth. Now, this object is definitely not that close to the Earth. However, it is definitely off in the distance. Now, what I'm going to show you is another view from another craft. And you can clearly see it's in the same position as the other photograph. What I want you to pay close attention to is this very high elevation right here where my cursor is circling. As we move to the next image, the same identical elevation is there. They match up perfectly. Now, again, this is said to be the sun and the computer had a glitch. So it transformed this image of the sun into the photograph. I personally think that's wrong. Now, if we take a look at the sun from a different image and a different craft on the same day at the same time, do you see any resemblance whatsoever? I don't. Now, what I want you to pay close attention to, so I'm going to zoom into this. I want you to pay very close attention to the three-dimensional detail of this elevation and all of these elevations and all of these striation marks all across this object. Now, would this be planet X or can this possibly be the brown dwarf that they call Nemesis? It is out near the sun. And looking further at this, again, you can match it up perfectly with the other craft and this is Sechi H1-1. It matches up 
identically to what you're seeing on the other image. And once again, it is not the sun. You do not see any of those images of that elevation on that planet on this photograph and video of the sun, all coming from the same date and the same time, just a different view. Now, I wanna zoom in a little closer so you can see more of this detail. The detail that you're looking at, this is a huge elevation. All of these formations are elevations on this object. It's not the best quality for this photograph and this imagery, but there is absolutely no doubt that's a massive elevation. We could look at the, the other imagery. And again, it appears right there. And I'll play these videos for you. And this comes directly from the Sechi craft. Just zoom out a little bit so you can see it. And it goes so fast. And this is over a nine day period. And when you watch this, it only blinks by in a split second. It's almost like they thought, okay, well, nobody's going to see this. They won't pay any attention to it. So let's just play it and I'll show you how fast it goes by. And again, this is a nine day period. There it went. It went and it's gone. Now the same applies whenever we move to the other image. We'll go ahead, we'll play it, and you'll clearly see. This one stays in the photograph for a few seconds more than the other craft. Now, those particles look like they are going straight through the image, but I don't think that's correct. These particles that are coming from the sun, from this huge plasma burst, are particles that are flying through space past this planet, not through it. So if you pay very close attention to what you're looking at, don't be deceived. They want you to think that is some type of a holographic glitch in their camera systems. That is not correct. What you're seeing there is a solid object. Is that the brown dwarf known as Nemesis? Because I don't think that is Nibiru or Planet X because that object is absolutely massive. If you look at the size of Earth and the size of that object, that is not seven times the size of Earth, as Planet X or Nibiru is said to be. Now, the brown dwarf is much larger than the Earth, much larger than Planet X or Nibiru or any other planet in its solar system. However, Nemesis, the brown dwarf, is smaller than our sun. That is part of our binary solar system. So let's just go back. Let's take another look at the Sechi image. And I'm going to have to stop this. I'm going to have to step through it to get back to the image. And you can see a huge burst coming from the sun when this object appears. And it seems that it interacts with the sun almost immediately. And once again, this is over a period of nine days. The time-lapse footage seems to go by very rapidly, but it is over a period of nine days. And this is what was captured on that Sechi image. Now, if you think for a minute, that object in the middle of your screen looks like this object, well, I'd have to say, get to your eye doctor and get your glasses and your eyes checked because there's absolutely no way that image is this image. And this is what they're hiding from you. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this footage with my life because we may never, ever see this again. Now, if you look at the top of this photograph, there's a crest on the bottom and a crest on the top. Something else that I noticed is that all of these particles, all of this is moving in a horizontal position. Everything on this object is moving in a vertical position. So that's only telling me one thing. That is a solid object. That object is not a holographic image. It is not a glitch. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to zoom in a lot more. And we're going to take a look at it up close. 
and you can clearly see that looks like a very three-dimensional elevation. Now, if you think I'm wrong, well, look, you're entitled to your opinion. But I think for the first time, we're actually catching a glimpse of the brown dwarf nemesis or possibly some other type of planetary body that is out there that we do not know of. And yes, they are trying to deceive you. There is absolutely no doubt. We will continue in our investigations. We will continue in our research till we are told the truth. But by the time we find the truth, it's probably going to be entirely too late. Now, we obtained another Sechi photograph dated for November 30th, clearly showing the same object with the same three-dimensional markings on the planet. Now, I'm not sure if this could possibly be Nemesis, the brown dwarf, but it is a very, very large object. And once again, in these still photographs, we were looking very closely at this large three-dimensional plateau. Utilizing these images, we have definitely come to the conclusion that this is a real object in space. This is not any type of a camera glitch. But you come to your own conclusions. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. We'd also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is December 2nd, 2016. We decided to go back and take a look at some stereo images, just as we did the other day, looking at the Sechi images, which was showing a very large planetary object off in a distance from the sun. We looked at the stereo images and came up with November 30th, 2016, the same planetary object now appears in the footage on the 30th. The object was present in the photograph and imagery for several hours. This object matched perfectly with the images and video footage taken from Sechi on November 17th, 2016. I find it very hard to believe that two weeks later, the same large planetary object shows up on different imagery and the images are identical. It is my personal opinion that we are looking at the brown dwarf star known as Nemesis. I'm finding it very hard to believe that this is software issues and camera glitches. It just so happens that approximately 14 days later, these images reappear on different cameras that are focused in and around the sun. They want you to believe that this is a camera glitch and a vision of the sun. Well, the sun does not have mountain ranges and plateaus such as you see on your screen now. It just so happens that over the past several months, we've photographed this object near the sun. If you've watched any of our previous videos going back into June, July, August, and September, this object has been photographed from around the world. And just so we're not creating any confusion on what we're looking at, this is not the object that we've been tracking in the southwest region of the sky. We feel wholeheartedly that this object is Nemesis, the brown dwarf star, which is the center of the Nemesis solar system. We feel that the Earth is definitely being affected by the presence of this brown dwarf star and possible other 
celestial bodies within our solar system. We are going to produce a video shortly pertaining to this. Because right now our Earth is being shaken like a rattle. Earthquakes to the tune of almost 4,000 in the month of November 2016. And they are continuing, they are picking up in frequency, and they are also picking up in magnitude. So please stay tuned, because we feel at this point in time, all information is very vital. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is January 7th, 2017. And I just received notification in my email, finally, from YouTube, that two videos that they deleted from my channel and that were actually banned from YouTube have now been released back to my channel. And I know a lot of you have not seen these videos because they deal with Sechi footage where the brown dwarf star was captured and I did a comparison on photographs that were captured by one of my subscribers using a high power telescope, observatory style telescope. And these images were sent to me and I did a comparison on some Sechi footage that NASA was claiming was a flaw or a glitch in their camera systems on the Sechi craft in space. After doing this comparison of my photographs that I received from my subscriber compared to what was seen on the Sechi footage in mid-November and then again at the end of November, I put this video together and then I followed it up with another video. Soon after, both videos were taken down, false copyright strikes were issued against them, but I fought very hardly to get them back from YouTube. And here they are, both together in their entirety. Sit back and watch this. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is December 